Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. I am Ashish Vishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. Our today's topic is measurement 2. Okay, let us start our class. My dear students, today is our topics number, lecture number 5. In, in our lecture, we shall solve measurement 2. In our lecture, we shall solve measurement 2. In our class, SW number 4. My dear students, in chapter 11, measurement, we shall solve question number 1, 2 and 4 as CW and 3, 5 and 6 will be your SW number 4. So, my dear students, this is your EMB book. and open this book page number 121 my dear students here we shall solve 1 2 and 4 and 3 5 6 will be your sw so let us start our class my dear students before starting our class please at first we know this chart here kilo hector deca meter liter gram Deci centimilli. Please memorize this. Kilo hector deca. Deci centimilli. Kilo hector deca. Deci centimilli. And in middle, meter, liter, gram. Okay. We use kilometer, kilo, liter, kilogram. Okay. So now we want to know one kilogram equal to how many hectogram. My dear students, please notice. When we, when we go on a step to another step, we can count first how many step it's go. That means one kilogram equal to how many hectogram. That means it go one step. For this reasons, one kilogram equal to 10 hectogram. 1 kilogram equal to 10 hectogram. Just like if I want 1 kilogram equal to how many gram, then it will be 1000 gram. I hope you have understood. Okay. So, please go to our first question. Here, Raju's height is 1.35 meter and his brother's height is 9.6 decimeter. How much is the difference in their height? Write it in centimeter. My dear students, please notice Raju's height is 1.35 meter and his brother's height is 9.6 decimeter. Here units are different. For this reason, we cannot, cannot subtract one from another. So how can we subtract? At first we convert this unit into one unit that means if this unit is meter then it unit then then that must be in meter okay but the question asks you to find the answer in centimeter for this reasons we convert this meter into centimeter and convert this decimeter into centimeter so first of all you write question number one given that Here, Raju's height is 1.35 meter. My dear students, please notice 1 meter equal to how many centimeter? Here, 1 meter equal to how many centimeter? We go this step from this step. That means we go 1 step and 2 step. 2 step. For this reason, we know that. 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter. So, convert this meter into centimeter. How can we multiply this 1.35 meter into 100? Then we get the required amount of centimeter. That means 1.35 multiplied by 100 cm. Okay. Here you must write 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter okay then you multiply this 
two number by easy process of multiplication. That is why 1.35 multiplied with 1 and it will be 135 and two zeros is here. Here one digit two digit after point there are two digit for this reason we write here point. I hope you have understood how to give point and how to multiply these two number then centimeter. So, Raju's height is 135 centimeter ok and his brother's height is 9.6 decimeter. My dear students here the unit is in decimeter. We want to convert this decimeter into centimeter. So, 1 decimeter equal to how many centimeter? We go on a step. For this reason we know that 1 decimeter equal to 10 centimeter. For this reason we multiply 9.6 with 10 and we get the required amount of centimeter. That means 9.6 multiplied by 10 centimeter. Here you must write 1 decimeter equal to 10 centimeter. Please give side note just like 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter, 1 decimeter equal to 10 centimeter. Okay? So, now we multiply at first we multiply 9.6 with 1 and it will, it will be 9, 96 and this 1 0 is here. Please notice after point there is 1 digit for this reason so we give here. 0 that means after point there is one digit which is 0. So, 0 has no value. So, we can say his brother height is 96 centimeter. So, his brother's height is 96 centimeter. Now, we find out the difference in their height. So, right. So, therefore, the difference of their height is 135 subtract 96 centimeter. My dear students now we subtract 6 5, 5 is smaller than 6 for this reason so we consider this is 15. If we subtract 6 from 15 then we get 9. And this one is added with this 9 and it will be 10 and 10 to 13 it will be 3 and then 1 is here and 1 on 0. So, if we subtract 96 from 135 then we get 39 centimeter. My dear students it is the required difference of their height and it is the answer and it is the answer you must write answer. If you do not write answer, then some marks is deducted from your answer script. I hope you have understood how to find out question number 1. Okay? So, now I erase question number 1 and start to solve question number 2. Question number 2 is a tailor has 375 decimeters of cotton cloth. A tailor has 375 decimeters of cotton cloth and wants to make 15 shirt from it. How many centimeters can he use for one shirt? That means the question asks you to find that a tailor has 30, 375 decimeter of cotton clothes. By using this 375 decimeters of cotton clothes, he make 15 shirt. So, for making 50 shirts, he needs 375 decimeter of cotton clothes. And you need to find out for making one shirt, how much cotton cloth is needed. So, it is so easy math. But here 375 decimeter. But the question asks you to find out the answer in centimeter. 
So, first of all you want to convert this decimeter into centimeter, then we divide after that we get the answer. I hope you have understood, a tailor has 375 decimeter of cotton cloth, so write it first given that. A tailor has 375 decimeter of cotton clothes. Okay. Now we convert this decimeter. We go decimeter to centimeter. So, how many step? One step. For this reasons, we say that. 1 decimeter equal to 10 centimeter. So, to convert this decimeter into centimeter, we multiply this amount of decimeter with 10 and we get the required amount of centimeter of cotton clothes. Then multiply 3750 centimeter of cotton clothes. By using this 3750 centimeter the tailor make 15 t-shirt. So, write first for making 15 shirts a tailor needs 3750 centimeter clothes. You need not write cotton because cotton clothes because there is no space. Now you write for making one shirt. A tailor needs for 15 shirt for 15 shirts, a tailor's need 3750 centimeter cotton clothes. For one, it will be less. As less, then division will be happened. That means 3750 divided by 15 centimeter clothes. Now we write here to show the division 15,750. 37, 50 goes in 2 times, 2 15s are 30, if we subtract 30 from 37 then we get 7, 5 is placed here, in 75, 15 goes in 5 times, 5 15s are 75 and 0 is here, in 0, 50 goes in 0 times, that means the required amount of cloth is 250 centimeter clothes and it is the required answer. Dear students, before starting to solve the math, you must make a plan or make a algorithm. A algorithm is very helpful for you, helpful for you to solve a math because when you make a algorithm, then it is easier for you to solve that math. Okay? So, now I erase question number 2 and start to solve question number 4. Here the question number 4 is, Lotif went to a market and bought 3.5 kg of rice, 8 hectogram of vegetables and 2400 gram of meat. How many kg I kg of items did he buy? My dear students notice, here he bought rice 3.5 kg, vegetables 8 hectogram and meat 2400 gram. Here the question asks you to find out the total amount of item, total amount of item which you find in the unit of kg. Here rice is in kg but vegetables and meats are in different unit. That means here vegetables in hectogram unit and meat is in gram unit. So, first of all we convert this amount of vegetables in kg and meat in kg. Then you add these three 
item and finally we get the answer okay so first of all you write question number 4 given that Lotif bought 3.5 kg of rice he bought 8 hectogram of vegetables my student notice we convert this hectogram into kg how can we know that 1 kilogram equal to 10 hectogram so can we write 10 hectogram equal to 1 kilogram yes so we divide this hectogram by 10 and we get the required amount of vegetables in kg so 8 divided by 10 kg of vegetables my students if we divide this then we get 0 0.8 kg of vegetables okay so vegetables amount is done next meat he bought 2400 gram okay now we convert this gram into kg 1 gram equal to 1 kilogram equal to how many gram 1000 gram so by this information we can write 1000 gram equal to 1 kilogram so we divide this 2400 by 1000 and we get the required amount of kg Point 0.4 kg now we add this three item and we get the answer in total he bought 3.5 plus 0 0.8 plus 2.4 kg now we add 4 to 12 4 and 8 12 12 and 5 7 okay carrying 12 and 5 17 carrying 1 2 1 3 3 0 6 so 6.7 kg i hope you have understood and this is the required answer 6.7 kg okay my dear students this is question number 4 this is question number 4 question number 1 question number 4 is very very important for your PEC exam because by using this two math it is so easy to make CBQ questions so 1 and 4 is very important for PEC exam you must learn this two math very carefully okay my dear students this is our today's CW and as SW you shall solve question number 3, question number 5 and question number 6 in chapter 11A measurement. Okay. And based on your SW you have already know that uh, diary marks, city marks and SBMRs will be given. So do your SW in your assigned SW copy, submit it regularly. Your guardians or any other person can submit your SW in our school library within 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in every Sunday. So, my dear students, today is our class. I hope you have understood my today's lecture. Keep practicing at home. Abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then, Assalamu alaikum. Thank you.